10 of the 25, Chip Trainum, who scored the winning touchdown in the backfield. And they'll throw it on first down. Field. Third down and two at the 33. McCord to throw it on third down. Pulls it back. Reverses his field. Looking. Delivers. Sideline incomplete. Defensive line that has given up quite a bit of ground in the run game. On second down. This one underneath. First down caught. Ibuka with. Oh, and try to take a shot over the top. First down and 10 at the 45. McCord setting up deep in the pocket with pressure. Giving up just under 14 points per game. Brian Williams, the defensive coordinator for Maryland. McCord over the middle and incomplete. Broken up. Bo Braid reaching around, redirecting that football. Ibuka, the intended receiver, brings up third and long. Beautiful play by Bo Braid. Watch him go over the top, avoid the contact, and get after the ball right when it arrives at the hands of the wide receiver. Braid has played a lot of football here, been a, a senior, and been through all the ups and downs. In all of college football, here's McCord. Bouncing around. McCord in trouble, and McCord will be sacked. Kellen Wyatt gets to him. And Ohio State will have to send it away again. Well, he's going to have a curl route that comes open, but it comes open a little bit late. Watch Stover from the right side running the shallow, and then all the way on the right, there's Fleming number four. He's going to be wide open. If you can anticipate that throw, it's a first down. McCord Second down and 16 at the 23. McCord off his back foot underneath, short throw, not a And get to that foundation quicker. Here's McCord. Looking, McCord, and he's sacked again. Wow, Donnell Brown gets to him. A loss of eight, and the Ohio State offensive line struggling early. This is a great rush on the top of your screen by Donnell Brown. Does a good job with his hands, and then he finally gets around and gets to the quarterback. A quick close right there as he beats the offensive lineman. That's Josh Fryer, and he gets to McCord immediately. I firmly believe that that's also the case. Off first down, McCord drops it off to Marvin Harrison, Jr. He'll turn it up and pick up his tab. Second and 14 at the 34. McCord looking. He'll drop it off in the flats to Williams. And Mayan Williams crosses the line. Empty backfield for McCord on third and ten. He's got time. McCord now dancing. McCord throws on the move and incomplete. Broken up at the last moment. Going in the run game so far. Second down and seven. Far side throw. Caught. And it's Harrison. Play fake. McCord sets up. Fires. Sideline. And almost intercepted. Well defended by this Maryland team. Dante Trader guarding Marvin Harrison. They're also doing a great job up front of covering up that run game so that they can play coverage in the secondary. Dante Trader, who is an excellent two-span in Columbus. It's just another walk in the park for Dante Trader. Third down and seven. McCord over the middle. Caught. But not a first down. And how about those possessions for Ohio State? Punt every time they've touched the ball. McCord on first down. Looking. Goes deep. McCord wide open receiver. Caught. Harrison. And Marvin Harrison Jr. Finally stopped by Dante Trader. McCord pump fake. Looks. Sideline. Caught. Harrison Jr. again. He'll dive forward and get... Stopped at the 11. Trader again with the tackle. So back-to-back -back gains for Marvelous Marv of 58 and 20 yards. And that ball thrown high, and rather than just trying to get himself inbounds, he not only catches it, but keeps himself in position to run. That's one of the things that makes him such a great play. For McCord. Here's McCord looking incomplete. Looks like he was trying to set up a screen. Isaac Bunyan with pressure on McCord. This is a great job by Trey Colbert. Watch Trey Colbert. He's the tackle right here. He's going to come up the field, and then immediately, what I just tell you on the last series that the Buckeyes defense did a great job of, if you're a lineman, you know when you're getting pass set against or when it's something is up like a screen. The second half. Only averaging 1.1 yards per carry. McCord throws it up the sideline, incomplete. Flag on the play. 
Marvin Harrison Jr., the intended receiver, covered by Corey Coley. Let's see what the flag is here. And it's against Maryland. And this has been the Marvin Harrison show today. I mean, Ohio State's really done nothing outside of Harrison. He's trying to get back to the ball. And again, corner just not playing the ball and preventing the wide receiver from making a play on the football. Easy. Train him the pistol back. Play fake. McCord guns it over the middle. Caught. And this time it's Ibuka. Ohio State moving it quickly now. Here's McCord sprints out, goes deep, caught inside the five. A beautiful sliding grab by Julian Fleming, and he gains 37. Fleming on a beautiful route. See how he's angling right, then he goes back to the left, and this ball is woefully underthrown, or else that's an easy touchdown. But what an adjustment, Gus, as you called it, sliding down to get that left side under the 28. Play fake. McCord looks backside. Wide open receiver. This is Stover, his tight end, and he's out of bounds at the five. A 23 yard. They pitch it. No, they fake the pitch. McCord, corner. Incomplete. Harrison, Harrison Jr. in motion. McCord sprints out. In trouble off his back foot. Incomplete. Down and eight at the 27. McCord to throw it. Short throw this time. Ibuka. And looks like a first down. With his teammate Emeka Ibuka in the tent after being tackled and rolled up on on the last play. First down. McCord throwing on the move. And it's caught by Xavier. Train him. 18 carries. 56 yards. McCord sets up over the middle. Looks like a first down. McCord under pressure. And he gets it off to train him, but it's still a tackle for a loss. Dante Trader. Some miscommunication here between the back and the tackle. Watch as the tackle comes out. Simmons, he takes one. It looks like Trainum's going to also take him. So they're going after the same guy. Then Trainum's got to go out to the left. Again, just missed assignments, not getting targeted. That time in pass protection between the left tackle, Josh Simmons, and the back, in the backfield, Chip Trainum. That should be picked up. The quarterbacks generally make mistakes by forcing throws down the field. Second and 33. He'll force this one down the field. Over the shoulder, and it's caught. What a grab, and what a throw by McCord to Harrison, and a flag on the play. We'll see what the call is. There's the concentration from Harrison after the play as he's going out of bounds. The result of the play is a completed catch during the play. Sideline. Seven yard gain. 15 yards. They go backwards. McCord caught. Stover touchdown. Bucks. 44 yards. And Ohio State takes their largest lead of the game, 26 to 17. Boy, all the action going this way with the motion and the fake, and then watches the tight end, Cade Stover, is just going to run a corner route. The safety comes all the way down to stop the run. Stover's wide open, and then Dante Trader, number 12, you can tell he comes up with a hamstring injury. He was the closest Maryland. Third and five. McCord over the middle. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Marvin Harrison Jr. Marvelous. That's number zero. Five yard penalty. Third down. Forward. Third down and ten. McCord sets up over the middle again. This time it'll stand. Marvelous. Marvin Harrison.
Marvin, eight catches, 163 yards, and a touchdown. Watch him just settle after he breaks over the zone, that second-level player. You see how he just kind of settles through that zone, does a great job. 44. McCord over the middle, another reception. This time it's Carnell Tate. 6'4". A legitimate 6'4". He's he's all a 205, maybe a little bit more, but he can he can run. Here's McCord. Goes out of bounds. CJ, I'm thrilled with his success so far here early in his career. And a heck of a ball player over the middle.